11th problem the sum of the slopes of the lines represented by x square minus xy minus 6y square is equal to 0 is first option minus 1 by 6 second option minus 6 third option 6 fourth option 1 by 6. So, this problem is actually related from or related to pair of straight line chapter. So, that means x square minus x y minus 6 y square is equal to 0 represents two lines which pass through the origin. Since they pass through the origin one will be y is equal to m 1 x other one will be y is equal to m 2 x. So, according to the problem here key word is sum we have to find out sum of the slopes sum of the slopes means m 1 plus m 2 we have to find out. For that one first let us formulate how to find out sum of the slopes of a pair of straight lines and how to find out product of the slopes of a pair of straight lines so, to remember or to do well in the our competitive entrance examinations. So, now you do like this I already told you y is equal to m 1 x and y is equal to m 2 x be the two lines which represent the given pair of lines. So, that means the roots are sorry the slopes of the pair of lines pair of lines m 1 and m 2 satis by the equation the equation the equation b m square plus 2 h m plus a is equal to 0. That means, indirectly m 1 and m 2 roots of this quadratic equation it is a quadratic equation in m. So, sum of the roots m 1 plus m 2 is equal to minus m coefficient by m square coefficient minus 2 h by b. So, this is the formula. So, now here comparing with a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0 here a is equal to 1 2 h is equal to minus 1 b is equal to minus 6 according to the problem what we are asked we have to find out sum of the slopes that is given by here minus of 2 h minus of minus 1 by minus 6. So, this will be 1 by minus 6 that is minus 1 by 6 which is the right option yes you are correct the first option is the right option. Okay, let us come to the 12th problem. The product of the slopes of the lines 3 x square minus 8 x y minus 3 y square is equal to 0 is first option 3 by 10, second option 10 by 3, third option minus 3 by 10, fourth option minus 10 by 3. So, that means in the previous problem we are asked to find out sum of the slopes m 1 plus m 2. But here what we have to find out what is the key word here product of the slopes that means m 1 into m 2. So, that means here hint you remember directly it represents two lines which pass through the origin they are in the form of y is equal to m 1 x and y is equal to m 2 x that means slope of the lines are given by m 1 and m 2. So, they satisfy the equation that is b m square plus 2 h l m plus a is equal to 0 it has two roots say m 1 m 2. So, you can refer even 11th question also while solving this one. So, I am writing directly. So, this is the quadratic equation in m. So, now what we have to find out product of the roots product of the roots means m 1 into m 2 that is nothing but according to the problem product of the slopes. 
So, constant term by m square coefficient that is a by b. So, let us come to the problem. Now, if you compare the given pair of lines with a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square is equal to 0, we get a is equal to 3, 2 h is equal to minus 8 and b is equal to minus 3. So, we require a value and b value itself only. So, a is 3, b is minus 3. So, we get minus 1, am I correct? Here options must be, we have to change the options, here options are not correct. So, let us take fourth one as minus 1. So, minus 1 is the right option. Thirteenth problem, the sum of the squares of the slopes of the lines given by x square minus x y minus x y square is equal to 0 is first option 13 by 36, second option 36 by 13, third option 1 by 36, fourth option is 5 by 36. So, what is the key word here? Sum of the squares of the slopes. So, that means suppose if m 1 and m 2 be the slopes of the two lines which represent the given pair of lines. So, m 1 square plus m 2 square we have to find out. How do you find m 1 square plus m 2 square unless we know the value of m 1 plus m 2 and m 1 m 2 that already we have practiced in the previous episodes. So, that means m 1 and m 2 are the roots of b m square plus 2 h m plus a is equal to 0. So, that we can find out m 1 plus m 2 and m 1 m 2. Having been evaluated these two values, our keyword using keyword m 1 square plus m 2 square that is the required value we can evaluate. I hope you might have understood. So, now, so b m square 2 h m plus a is equal to 0 has two roots m 1 and m 2, where m 1 is the slope of the first line, where m 2 is the slope of the second line. So, m 1 plus m 2 minus 2 h by b, directly I am writing m 1 into m 2 a by b. See, according to the problem here, a stands for 1, 2 h stands for minus 1, b stands for minus 6. So, let us substitute the respective values. This is 1 by minus 6, minus 1 by 6, I think okay, it is correct calculation. This is 1 by minus 6, minus 1 by 6. So, now our aim is to find out m 1 square plus m 2 square. So, this can be written m 1 plus m 2 whole square minus 2 m 1 m 2 correct. This is minus 1 by 6 whole square minus 2 into minus 1 by 6. This is 1 by 36 plus 2 by 6, LCM is 36. So, 36 divided by 36 1, so you get 1 here, 36 divided by 6 6, 6 12, 13 by 36. Now, check which will be the right option, yes, the first option is the right option. 